Sound check, sound check, one, two, three. Sound check. Sound check, sound check. We started nine minutes. Can everyone hear me? How's my audio? Sound check. One, two, three, one, two, three. Sound check, sound check. Hi, NG. Thanks for joining. Hi, Ibrahim. Thanks for joining. Hi, El Elgun from Azerbaijan. Uh, yeah, I was there in Azerbaijan, but it was a stopover going to Kazakhstan. Stayed in the airport for six hours in Azerbaijan. Hi, Jareer. Uh, we're good. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Uh, five more minutes and we'll start. Hi, Kamish. Thanks for joining.
I wish I could read Arabic, but hi from KSA. I don't know your name, so thanks for joining. Hi, Ahmed from Egypt. Thanks for joining. We'll start in four minutes. Oh. Oh, hi, Mohammed. Yes. Okay. Thanks for joining. So while we're waiting, how many of you had the chance to watch the solar eclipse? Oh, guess what? I, I didn't get to shoot it. <laughs> Technically, we're supposed to do a live, but the government did not give us live access, so I never had a chance to join. So, unfortunately. That's why I'm asking who has one good photo. Okay, 50 seconds and we'll start. Hi, Nicolo. Thanks for joining. I'm here. Don't worry. It's 9 o'clock on the dot. Hi, Mr. Sincere. How are you? Long time. Wish I could go back there. Okay, three, two, one, and we're good to go. Bye, guys. Okay, so what's happening to my camera? Oh, I told 
suddenly forgot to turn on my camera and that's why you can't see me okay thanks for joining all right hi guys thanks for joining thanks for joining uh, our session for today is a multi-camera setup it's since it's more oh, uh, let me turn off the music okay so it's our session for today is a multi-camera setup most of the setup nowadays using live stream is a single camera so we'll we'll be doing multiple camera setups so uh, this would be a guide we'll be teaching you i'll be teaching you uh, i have a live demo as well so it'll be easier and faster and again uh, please feel free to ask questions anytime okay so okay guys please oops uh, please do follow me in my Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channel, which is Kelvin Montalbo. If you have time, please do click like, follow, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so, and that's one way you could get in touch with me. I do reply, and I do reply fast. Okay, target audience for today, uh, people who wanted to achieve a next level videography, you want to do multi-camera setup this is the basic setup on how to do it uh, it comes in three sessions so we'll break it down since we're allotted an hour only we'll break it down to set up um, fine-tuning it and delivery okay so again please feel free uh, on all my sessions, I prefer interactions. I feel I prefer asking all the questions that you could ask, but please make sure it's pertaining to live video or basically camera settings and all that. We'll, we'll guide you through that as well. Uh, hi, Alan. Thanks for joining. Ah, yes, Mr. Sir, I, I want to go back there, but again, due to COVID, we won't be able to. Okay, so... Um, Yes, please feel free to what you do and where you are. Uh, some of the early joiners have informed me already where they're from. Thanks for joining. The farthest so far is Azerbaijan. So thanks for joining. Okay, so where are we now? Okay, so let's start. Uh, let me play this. Wait, give me a few seconds. Where is it? Um, okay, I'll, before we start, I'll show you some of my work, some of our work, basically, because it's a team effort. Okay, so I'll show you our weddings and our corporate videos.
right, so those are two of our works. Uh, we're currently in the Bosch showroom right now. Uh, we're testing a live uh, streaming cooking show and teach you guys how to use live streaming in an actual environment. So what's in the bag? These are two Z6 and one Z7, an ATEM Mini Pro to make it easy. Two small tripods, HDMI wires, battery, wireless transmitters, uh, headphone jacks, audios, okay, we got a lapel microphone, audio recorder, that's it. Okay, so we have two HDMIs. The normal HDMI and the mini HDMI. This is for the Z6. So here, uh, we'll treat this as camera two. Uh, because always, please remember that camera one is always the main one. Okay, so we'll snap this in. Come here. Okay, so here's an HDMI connector, HDMI. Plug it in. Uh, make sure we got the right angle first. Fine tune the camera. Okay, then we got the top shot for the cooking show. Okay, so tighten it up, tighten it up. That should work pro properly. Right. Okay, since HDMI is really sensitive, just make sure that you have secured it properly not to have it hanging in a way because we've got a lot of cables that being uh, we've got a lot of cables that was bro broken due to negligence okay so next we'll have another HDMI cable same thing it's, it's a bit short as well so we won't be going wireless this time because the area is quite near if we're, we have bigger areas, then of course we'll go wireless. But right now, it's just wired. Everything is wired, so it's easier. Okay, again, HDMI, plug it in. Okay, that's it, HDMI. Remember, main camera is always camera one. Okay, so we're there. Okay, so we've got camera one here right now. It's technically connected to an HDMI via ATEM Mini. So the ATEM Mini connects to the laptop using USB 3. Uh, we have a second camera, which is the Z6 as well via HDMI, connected to number two port number two so as you can see if we switch it it changes angle already click cut 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 okay so cut 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 so you could see that so we have camera one again just facing whoever or the chef here the reason why we're putting it here because there's a lot of reflection here it's gonna happen uh, we have the ATEM mixer, again, um, three HDMI connectors, HDMI 1 goes to camera 1, um, HDMI 2 goes to our camera 2, which is basically the top shot of what's happening. Okay, so camera 3 goes through here, which shows this angle. Uh, we could do a wide or we could slightly do a tighter shot, a tighter shot rather. So from there, uh, we could do handheld here or mix it from branding and there. Okay, so currently we have three cameras set up here. So this is our camera one, camera two and camera three. So there's one there, okay. so. We'll start rolling right now. Camera one is basically facing, uh, it's facing me right now. So the reason why it's in that angle, I'll show you what angle. It's, it, the reason why 
it's in this angle because there's like crazy reflection here in the ovens and we don't want to see ourselves there okay so that's the main reason second is of course this angle would be showing what we're cooking and this angle would be showing the branding of course there would be some wide angles and all that as well so you could see and there would be another handheld so there's four cameras set up exactly what i'm doing right now it's basically we're going to connect it wirelessly okay so camera one is connected by uh, hdmi connected to here i'll explain it to you later connected camera two with this angle and camera three would be wider angle or higher angle. So I guess, so this is one angle. Okay, so. What's up? Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's start. Welcome to my cooking show. Uh, my name is Kelvin. We're start, we're currently in Bosch showroom in Albarsha. It's really nice place uh, all the facilities here you could basically cook whatever you want here okay so let's start cooking so I'll have my chopping board tap, 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 tap. prepare of course we have another angle coming from here so we'll get to focus and all that and while the chef is talking you get to see this okay so once the chef starts cooking okay wait sorry not yet we have to prepare the materials. We have to prepare the vegetables and all that. You get to chop, you get to adjust all that. So from here, we get to put it in the blender. Okay, we'll make some sound. The reason why we're doing that angle, this angle, because we need to see the branding. We need to see that we're using a Bosch product. We're using this, we're using this. These items are very important. Of course, it's before you go to a venue, before you go any venue you have to check you have to check um, the position and everything how how it's gonna happen where it's gonna happen how the chef is gonna move where is he coming from where is she coming from or going from and to so make sure you'll be ready for that okay so once the ingredients are ready uh, he or she is gonna put it here prepare it okay turn on switch turn on switch back and whoa I literally turn it on so let's start cooking 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 so of course I have another camera angle here which is basically I'm using right now and I have another here so and here we'll, we'll be showcasing the ingredients that we will be using uh, there will be a pop-up we'll, we'll, we'll encode it right uh, we'll encode it so that's how it's gonna happen so it makes more sense so rather than people going back or going reading the menu and all that you have it already popping out so example one clove of garlic uh, there will be a pop-up one clove uh, chopped chives chopped onions all instructions would be popping out so but of course i need we need all that prepared days before so we need to put it in the system we need to encode it so okay so we start cooking 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 Okay, another ingredients are here, cooking, cooking, and one more angle facing here, the pens start moving. Okay, so example, we have something in the oven, so we're going to bake right now, so, so from here, okay, so I have another angle from here, which is a better angle, we'll put in one camera here, which technically is a mobile camera, so Yep, cooking, cooking, of course. Press, branding, branding, branding. Close it, open it. We're done cooking. So, then, okay. The chef would show what she is cooking. This is what we've been cooking. And switch camera. La la la, present it again. Then, of course, camera, the chef will try to walk, talk. You, we get to follow he or she. So, that's it. Okay, just in case 
uh, the area is too far and HDMI won't reach, you could always use the wire, a wireless HDMI transmitter. We're using a Holy Land um, receiver transmitter, which is the Mars 400. Uh, I love this product because it's so stable, even at a very good distance as well. So what we have here right now is I've put it in here, as you could see. So we're trying, if you're moving, if we're doing um, movement, and if it's handheld or it's a gimbal, we usually put the wireless on it. So you have mobility rather than wired connection. So the connection would be, this is the transmitter. So it's the same thing, it plugs, oops, trash. The same thing, it plugs into your HDMI up, output, input, then goes to your video mixer, output, then input. So that's it. Okay, so here's a Holy Land. Uh, this is another version. Uh, what we have is the 400S, which we have a 400S as well. So uh, HDMI out, this goes to your mixer or your capture card. And same, HDMI out, this goes to your camera, which is basically here. We just plug this in. It's hard when you're using one hand only. So again, wait, let me put it down. You plug that in, and that's it. Uh, the reason why we get the version with the SDSDI is sometimes we do use professional cameras um, to increase distance. We use this. So I'll, do, I, I'll show you the diagram in a little while, so why we're using SDI, so you'll know. Okay, so it helps a lot in spreading the distance. Okay, so just in case, another tip is just in case um, there's interference and all, and all, try to change the channel, so it's easy. So you just basically press this, channel five, and that's it, simple as that. But another tip is sometimes by accident, you might press it, so just be careful, just make sure you double check the frequency as well. Okay, so uh, that's basically it. Uh, by the way, I pre-recorded that because it's so difficult. Uh, and yesterday was quite, uh, yesterday Bosch was available for that shoot, okay? So what do you need? Basically, multiple cameras, HDMI cables, uh, video mixers, or a capture card. That would help as well. So you could do two capture cards, two, or if you want, three or more cameras, you need a video mixer. So again, guys, if you have questions, please feel free to ask. So far, there's no questions. Um, as you can see, I haven't set up the audio yet. That would be in the next session. So every audio would be so clear. clear. On my handheld, I was using a Z50 and on the three, I was using two Z6 and two Z7. Okay, so hope that helps. Okay, so technically these are the cameras that's capable on a clean HDMI. Uh, I'll put it there. So if your camera is there, then good. If it's not, then you need a clean, a clean HDMI output in order to achieve those. Again, web cameras is okay, but the professionalism and the clarity makes it a big difference. Even on your slides and in your presentations, like what I'm doing right now, it gives the, professional, the professionalism, okay? So, okay, so clear uh, explanation HDMI, it's basically high definition multimedia interface. Uh, HDMI is designed for consumer only. That's why it's not durable, okay? That's why we still use HDSDI to transport those signals and in a farther distance. Okay, so here are the types of HDMI. The full size, which is you could see in your normal television, which is point A to point B, that's full size. And uh, HDMI mini, which is the type C, which you could see on your Z6 and Z7, 
uh, the micro, which is for Z50. Okay, so again, please feel free to ask questions. Okay, what you need is uh, an HDMI capture card as well. So you could get the HD 600S Plus, which is made by Elgato or any China brand. Let me know if you require them. Send me a message. I'll send you a link on where to get them and at the best price. It's roughly around uh, 150 dirhams. The Elgato is around 800, and it's so hard to get nowadays. Okay, so I'll draw some diagram if you need to. Okay, um, again, our works is basically www.studioK.ae. Uh, we do photo and video. We do also virtual 360 tours. Just in case you require, let us know. Okay, my personal uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel is Calvin Montalbo. Please do follow me. I would appreciate. Um, <laughs> Hi, brother. How are you? Waiting for prepared food. That would be in the next session. I'll, I'll do that in an actual cooking session. Okay. <laughs> what would you require? Okay, so let's do a few simulation on how we could uh, connect. Uh, what's the HDMI card for? Okay, that's a very good question. The HDMI card for is since coming from your camera, since coming from your camera, you need to bring in the signal to your computer. That's why you need the HDMI capture card. So if you're using a Mac, then you could use via USB. I can send you the tutorial, but in the PC point of view, it's quite complicated in some ways. It's doable, but it's complicated. Advantage of connecting to an HDMI is its clarity versus the USB, okay? Uh, on a USB port, you, it's just a lower resolution. It's not pristine quality, but it's okay. Uh, hope that's clear, Shimran. Everything to be seen on your Facebook wall. So let's cook some rooftops. <laughs> okay, we'll try to, we'll try to. We'll invite you one time. Okay, so uh, again, guys, please feel free to ask questions. I'll do a simulation and on the diagrams and all that, okay? So as you can see, these are the connection ports, uh, port one, port two, port three. Uh, you put in uh, just a heads up tip. Camera one, which has the majority of the shot, would always be camera one, okay? Camera that has the majority of the shot would always be camera one. Camera two would be the backup, which is sometimes a crane or a handheld, another handheld, or the one, if it's a cooking show, then it's basically the middle part. The thir third or the fourth is basically the roaming ones, okay? So let me try to draw something right now. Okay, let's do this, okay? So... I'll draw right now. Okay, so HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, technically, this connects to the camera. This connects to another camera. And this connects to another camera. Or this, you could connect to a laptop. Or you could connect to another camera. Okay, so on the AT Mini, on the AT Mini, uh, it's connecting to your laptop via USB 3, okay? And other video mixers, you need to connect them via HDMI. That's why you need an HDMI capture card, okay? Hope that's clear. If I'm too fast, let me know. If I need to redraw it, please let me know, okay? So in some instance, uh, if... Or if the venue of if it's a wedding, which is a bigger venue, we don't do the wired. We always do the wireless connection. So what we do is technically, let me change color first. A pen tool. Okay. So from here, you see the wireless connector, and we put in the wireless. Uh, the wireless receive a transmitter here. So basically, 
we cover everything wirelessly so it should be far enough to cover the zafe entrance uh the bride coming in the groom coming in the bride and groom coming in can you repeat the last part of an hdmi card okay uh the hdmi capture card basically cap um from your camera you need an hdmi capture card in order to put it in your computer i hope that's clear uh, that's the easiest way i could explain it it's because there's no way you can't plug it via usb you, you could plug it via usb but you need to have a mac in order for that to work so the signal, the, the video signal needs to be captured by the computer, okay? All right, same thing on another wedding. Uh, we do have two wireless feeds. So instead of a wired connection, we do have another wireless receiver and transmitter, okay? So in some cases, I mentioned a while ago that we use uh, HD SDI as a wireless transmitter uh, because it covers a uh, farther distance than what we have right now. So I'll draw another example, okay? So it's not an ATEM Mini this time. The mix, wait, let me get here, it's here. Sorry. Okay, uh, it's... Uh, this is another mixer, which is made by ATIM as well. Uh, it has eight, eight ports, technically. So four HDMI and four SDI. So, yeah. oh, sorry. So the reason why it's HDSAI, as I mentioned, because of distance. So what we do is, okay, I'll draw again. There's HDMI, two, three, four, and HDSDI, same. Okay, so what we do is put in a very long cable, a very long cable getting near the entrance, the main entrance because it's too far away. So we put in the wireless receiver here. So I'll have farther distance rather than the if the base unit is Okay, let me do it again. Let me draw it again so it's easier for you. Okay, so let's say this is a wedding hall. Okay, this is the dance floor. This is the kosher. Okay, so this is the DJ area. This is our video area. Uh, if you have the ATM Mini Pro, you don't need an HDMI card because you plug it via USB, USB, USB already. So that works perfectly. Okay, so okay, so what we do is okay, so this is the entire room. Okay. The hotel is quite far and there's a grand staircase here. So the bride and the groom comes down here and they want the live uh, the live feed showing inside the ballroom. Uh, there's no way wireless would reach that. So what we do is we put in a very 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 long cable which is uh, via HD SDI. Okay, it's quite expensive, not quite expensive, it's a very expensive cable. Okay, so please make sure when you, if ever you buy, you roll it properly. Okay, so we bring in, we bring it in a way, it's in between the dance floor and the point of entrance or where you're gonna shoot it. So example, this is the dance floor. This is the farthest, or this is where the video would start. So we would put the wireless receiver here. So my trajectory of the signal would basically cover that area. So it'll be in between. So if ever, I'll change the pen. So if ever we walk inside, I still have signal rather than moving this actually and moving and moving it all together, which is very troublesome. Okay, so after entrance and dancing part, we'll have an assistant to slightly move back this in again 
so that signal would be stronger. Uh, I hope that's clear. Uh, yeah, I hope that's clear. Uh, on the next session, we'll be covering audio and fixing audio lags, uh, how to adjust them on, on the camera, uh, uh, sorry, on the ATEM Mini and the software as well, and how to have pr very, very good audio. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Uh, is there any other questions? Please let me know. Because we will be in the Q&A already. Okay, so again, please feel free to ask. I'm here. Question, guys? I think there's a slight delay, so I'll wait. Uh, not slight delay, it's 40 seconds delay upon whenever I talk, so... Which software do you use the live camera view on your Mac laptop? I, I use uh, an Ecamm. Uh, it's a subscription-based software. Even right now as well, I'm using Ecamm, which is very easy. Wait, let me do tests. I'm not sure if you could see this. Okay, let me test it right now so you could see. Okay, live demo. Okay, so... Turn on live demo. Mac laptop. Okay, so I, I use uh, an eCam. This is uh, it's a subscription. This is eCam right now. So as you can see, these are my controls. These are audio. These are my microphones. Okay, these are the chat applications. So if ever I'm going to put your chats there, I could see them here in the window. So if Shimra, I could add that there. This is the main software. This is my technically control panel. So we've been live for 43 minutes and 52 seconds. Uh, there's 18 viewers, 20, 20 top pops up. So I could put in special effects. So I'm not sure. Oh, I put it in mute. That's why. So sound effects. Okay. So as you could see, I could play audio from here. So, so I could play all those. And applause. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, those kind of stuff. So uh, animation is here. I could remove the logo, click, click. And the mixer basically comes in here. As you could see, this is my multi-camera setup. If I click this, I could see my iPod. If I click this, this is my screen. This is my other camera. This is my uh, webcam. Uh, if, it's, if you have a video mixer, then Technically, you'll still have one view here, and you get to control multi-cameras in the ATEM mixer. But with Ecamm, what I do is basically use one multiple, I use multiple capture card in order to achieve it. So I get away with not using an ATEM mixer. Okay, so let me remove the live demo. Okay, sorry, let me increase the volume. Okay, how about that? Okay. So I hope I answered this question, Shimran. Uh, Jude, what lenses are you using on the Z6? Um, on the camera one has 2470 f4. Camera two, which is wide, I have a 1430. And camera three is 2470. The one I'm using handheld is a Z, Z50 with a 1650. Okay, um, yes, you're using OBS. I love OBS. It's free. Um, I'm using Ecamm. I used to use ABS. Now I switch to Ecamm. It makes life so easy. And technically, I haven't experienced audio delays so far. Uh, yeah, I've used Ecamm. <laughs> uh, problem is it's proprietary to Mac only. So... Uh, that's a very good question. But again, uh, you could adjust it in an, uh, you could adjust this, the audio delay in OBS. Um, try to do a firmware upgrade on your ATEM. And there's an adjustment in OBS as well on this delay. But the problem is if there's multiple camera in the ATEM, if, are you using similar cameras 
on your ATEM, or it's a different camera because sometimes you'll have that problem. And also, where is the audio coming from? Where are you tapping your audio? Uh, yeah, Germal, Germany. Yeah, Germany. Where are you getting the audio? Are you tapping it from your mixer or you're getting it your audio from the camera? Please let me know so I could guide you through. Uh, great, thanks. Uh, send the link. Um, you could uh, just search it. E ecam, ecam. It's e c a double -M, m. Ecam live. Uh, what's razor? Sorry. Sorry, uh, I'm not familiar with razor. Okay, guys, please feel free to ask questions. I still have 15 minutes to answer all that. It's a long delay, huh? It's, it's causing 45 delay on live. Uh, oh, okay. So direct to laptop. Okay, via direct to laptop. Uh, no, 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 no. That's going to cause major delay. Uh, tap in the audio going to the mixer, from the mixer. Wait. Not from your laptop because it costs uh, processing. So there's a mic input here. Put it here. Uh, but the best part is you put it in camera. Uh, yes, you have three cameras, right? One, two, three. But you could always configure ATEM Mini to get the audio from camera one. That solves all the audio delays. So once you plug it here, get, or let's put it, let's plug it in your camera. But unless you're moving, then that would be a big problem. So what you could do is always put it here. Use the microphone here rather than from your computer because that would cause major delay. Excuse me. I hope that answered your question. Uh, even on my setup, I don't do that because it's just major delay. It's major headache. Okay, I hope I answered your question. I usually use the cameras in recording, but there's a mic hooked up just to one. So the other camera just have proper audio. No cameras hooked up to the issue. I just finished. Sorry. Okay, let me read that again. Usually we use two cameras for recording, but there's a microphone hooked up on one. So the other camera doesn't have a proper audio. Uh, no cameras hooked up to HDMI. We just input the footage later. Is there a way to connect audio both and both cameras? Uh, uh, what are you recording? It really depends on what you're recording because if there's a speaker, then I would tap in the audio on the speaker. So let me do a diagram on that one. Okay. Okay. Let me do another audio. So we have camera one. We have camera two, right? So your audio microphone is here. So if you're recording... Sorry for the stick figure. I can't, I don't know how to draw. So uh, if he has a microphone and there's a speaker here, I would put in a lapel microphone here and put a lapel microphone here and recording it. Or I would put in an audio recorder, an H1 or an H4 or an H6 near the speaker and sync all those after or in post-production. Uh, or I would... Give him an an audio an audio or a lapel microphone on him, and that should work properly. I hope that answers your questions. I have a Sanger Avenger, still have delay. If it's, if it's passing through the computer and via OBS, you could adjust the delay timings on OBS. There's a function there, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would need you to 
plug it in the the video mixer that would eliminate all that headaches but again you could bypass that in obs are all your cameras similar okay yeah uh cooking tutorials yep so best way is to get a lapel microphone or as you could see i have a uh, super clear audio which basically just pointing to me so i don't have to wear lapel microphone every time but if it's a cooking show you need to put in a lapel microphone and you put it in one of the cameras and that's it you're good to go i hope that helps Okay, still a bit of confused. Go. Confused is good. Question is better. So let's fix this. Sorry, I'm still a bit confused. We are using a lapel microphone and the audio that goes into the main camera, but the audio doesn't go to the camera too well. You don't need the audio from camera two. The camera two is just basically just your other angle. You just have to get the audio from camera one, shut down camera two, and that's it. Hope that helps. Okay, you shut down camera two. You don't need to use the audio from camera two. You just need to use audio from camera one. Uh, reverb. <laughs> uh, if it's live, oh, that's one nightmare. I do a site visit. We do site visit. We put in plants. We put in... Uh, blockage to anything that would bounce the sound. So a chair, a table, a towel, not a towel, a curtain, a cloth, and all that. But the most important thing is visit the site before. If it's live, oh my God, you have to visit before. If it's recorded, it's easier because you could edit it in post. You could remove the reverb in post. It's hard, but there's a software to it. It's a third party. I can't, re I can't remember. My senior editor, Ron, is online right now. If he could post what's the software that we're using, that would help. But yeah, if it's live, it's a different story. If it's uh, a pre-recording, we'll do post. Um, well, anything that's a clear wall, you just put in a curtain, what you do is you bring in a backdrop stand, you put in the cloth, and that's it. Oh, addition. <laughs> so, again, okay, yeah, addition, you put in cloths all over. So, you box them in, in a way. Okay. Okay, I'm glad that helped. Uh, any additional questions? I still got to have five minutes. I could cut it short, but... <laughs> All right, we'll wait for five more minutes, guys. So, guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, rather. Um, by the way, if you have extra question, Shimra, uh, do message me in fa Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, I'll reply there. Or generally, uh, just add me, message me. If you have any other extra question, if you could remember additional questions, please feel free. I'll be glad to help you out. Okay, um, I guess that's just about it. Uh, thanks for joining everyone. Uh, I'm glad I managed to help a few of you. Uh, please feel free to contact me directly if ever. Uh, and these are my contact details. Okay, so get in touch, say hi or whatever. Anyways, thank you very much and hope you had a good time. Thank you. Thank you.